just to be safe, I'm going to get rid of the Raptodons because what if someone decides to explore this place and ends up getting eaten? And also, I'm just in the mood to kill a lot of stuff, so why not? Damn, that was quick. Hey, boss, watch this. Yo, that thing's still alive. You did even kick it pretty good. Oh, that's the last of him. Oh, you did. Holy shit. That was quick. Okay, well, let me. Oh. You know, I gotta put in my own fair share of work here, so. What's what's this? Requires sedative gas canister? Are you a sedative gas canister? Oh. A label on the canister states Auntie Cleo's Rap Tea Gone is guaranteed to render even the largest raptodon unconscious for no less than six hours, and has a refreshing antiseptic scent. Should a method for gas dispersal be found, this canister may prove very useful. Wow, I'll take that, put it right here. And that's it? Is there nothing else? There's no other canister that I can take here. I mean, obviously I'm gonna steal a lot of stuff. No one's using it, but... Oh, another one. Is there anything down below here? Nah? Ooh. I gotta admit, those monsters are so... Ugly, man. There's no other canisters, though, from what I've seen. Right? That kind of blows. Let me see here. There should be one left. Unless, of course... It's right here. Oh, they kept these monsters in these cages. That's pretty sad. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I got some meat, but do I really want to eat it? Nah. I could have sworn there should be at least three around this area because where else could the other one be? I'm serious, where else could the other one be? And you know what? I'm just gonna give up because I'm not gonna bother wasting my time trying to find a third one if there even is a third one to begin with. Nope, I don't see anything here. Okay, well, I'm gonna go and see if I'm able to... Hold on, where am I going? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go and see if I'm able to at least eliminate the outlaws. Pendor. Is this a good place? Holy shit, there's a whole bunch of them here. At this point... And the door's right there. Okay, fine. Let's kill these monsters. Oh! How the hell did you get down below? Let me know in the comments below who's your favorite companion. Mine would be Provardi. Because she's adorable. 
and she's smart, and she's a brilliant engineer. Ew. Oh, I see a hole. Okay, not really a hole, but whatever. I'll take that, because I know you're not going to use it. I'll take this. I just love taking shit. I really do. If I see a dead body with some goods, you best believe I'm going to take the goods. Because you're not going to need it. Take that. Ooh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Finally. I know. I know. I've never been so pleased at the sight of an open door. Please tell me you've cleared a way out of here. So, I've unlocked your cell and dealt with the guards. You'll have to fend for yourself against the rips. So you have. I am much obliged. And now, if you do not mind, I have had quite enough of this wretched place. I'm going to need you to turn over that research. Oh, really? And why, pray tell, would I do a thing like that? Because you don't want a price on your head. Your point is well taken. I would rather not spend the rest of my days looking over my shoulder for the shadow of my headhunter. Here, take the damned research. Tell Crane I hope he chokes on it. Hmm. You did the right thing. Goodbye. Now, there are a few left over. So let's deal with the remaining Raptondons, and then we can skedaddle from here. Right? Oh, another one! I found it! Yay! It's right outside here. So let me put this one in. The gas- wait, gas Raptondons? Hell yeah, I want to gas them! Shit, say no more. Ooh, let's leave. Let's leave because that noise gave me such oh. Oh wow. Interesting. I love this. All right, let's skedaddle. Hey there. Cass said you'd be coming, but I couldn't believe it. Believe what? Our group stages out of the Groundbreaker. Word about you's got round. Call me Lillian. I got left out here to keep watch for reinforcements. Because that would just cap a shitty damn day. Cassandra's kind of a hard case, isn't she? Definitely got something large and uncomfortably shaped up her nethers. Yammering on about rights and privileges and what all. I'm like, lady, just sing out when you want something shot. Nice ways her pamphlets make good kindling. So why, so why are we having a conversation instead of a shootout? I'm sweaty. I got clawed by one of them monsters. I've been in the dirt all day and I, I got bugs in places you don't need to know about. I'm on a fucking break. Got a smoke? Sure, I got you. Thanks, sister. Bad day, huh? I've had better. Lost some things in a dust-up. But I didn't get eaten like some of our crew got that going for me. I'm sorry, were they friends of yours? Some of them were okay. They don't get too close in this work. And Dylan, well, ain't no one gonna regret his passing. Least of all his mama. I was near the Raptodon pen when they got loose. Had to set a few to rights. When I got to checking if all my parts were still attached, I realized I'd dropped my cigarette case. Why didn't you go back and get it? When I turned about, I seen two fine gun hens being snacked on by lizards. No cigarette case is worth my life, no matter how badly I need a smoke. This was a Spacer's Choice commemorative case. Some promo for founding day they did back in, uh, I forget the year. Worth decent bits to collectors. Don't tell me we're about to go fishing through a Raptodon's guts. Where did you lose your cigarettes? 
an outdoor raptodon pen yonder, past the main entrance. Well, only knows why they're breeding the damn things. Let's say I managed to nab it. You willing to pay to get it back? Well, you'd sure as hell have earned it, wouldn't you? I'll come around if I get hold of it. I'd be obliged. Just don't lose any parts trying. You ever watch Agent Khan? He's got this ship, right? The Invincible? And we got a ship, right? So I got to thinking, who'd win in a race? The Invincible or the Unreliable? Felix, you watch too many movies. Nah, not Ellie like Lampert. Like Adventure serials are my education. Where else am I supposed to learn how to kick a jackass in the chest? And that's what being a pirate's all about, right? Hate to tell you, but a lot of the job is waiting for a gig, then waiting to get paid. Damn, you're such a Debbie Downer. And we're here because I did promise the scientist I was going to look and see if his colleague was still alive. Here we go! Score one for Felix. And it seems like he's somewhere in here. Best there ever was. Question is, I'm making a bet right now. Do you think he's alive? Because at this point, we spent a lot of time in the other building. So who knows if his ass was just eaten or not. Then again, if it does show that he's like dead, then you know for a fact. I'm just going to steal all the shit Google he has. Freakish experiments locked away in there? I don't know. Let's see. I just hope he's alive, because if not, I don't know, I'll just go trip the scientist, dude, honestly. It's a little too quiet for me. Not surprised I've seen a dead body here. I would be more surprised if there is someone that's alive, but I'm not being hopeful at this point. Especially since the music is just a dead giveaway that some fucked up shit's about to happen. I'll take that. I'll take anything and everything at this point. And the bathroom. Oh, there's a hole over here. Look, my kind of door. Right. Take that. I'll take that. It's not really promising at this point. I'm I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this guy. Oh. We didn't even do a lot of work and you want to drink already? Come on, bro. Okay. Uh, let me see. I mean, I'm picking up a lot of good gear. So, I'm pretty happy. But I don't see anything... That can lead us to Jameson. Holy shit, look at this. Ooh, that scientist is just cooked alive. Okay. And this door's closed, whatever. I mean, I gotta put in my weight around here anyways, why not? Nothing wrong with seeing me in action. Uh -huh. Anyways. I don't even know what happened here. I don't want to know. Should I care? I'm not sure. Damn. Nice. No, not bad. Anyways. You know, of all the gear I've been salvaging, I have not once tried to sell any of these items. I just realized that. But then again, I only pick ones that I know I'm going to use anyways. Okay, so... Oh my god, he's alive? I saw that in a serial once. 
Bro, you're watching too much TV. You really do. Did someone lift the lockdown? Bro, you're alive? What? What? How the hell did you get in here? Well, first I shot the Raptodons, then I walked up the stairs and... No, not... I don't care about the beasts. I care about the front door. This is an egregious breach of protocol. How'd you get in? Oh, Anton sent me to get you. Ugh. Can't use the centrifuge without supervision. Can't file reports without him double-checking their every word. Can't save myself from mortal peril. It's like he thinks I'm a child. His hands-on management style is coming to a point of contention, I tell you. You're upset that he sent me to rescue you. Please. That man doesn't have an altruistic bone in his body. I just happen to have the metabolic precursors from our last test. I'd wager my last bit that if you brought back the precursors and left me for dead, Anton wouldn't bat an eye. Actually, that isn't quite true. He said it looked bad on him if more of his employees died. Oh, wonderful. That's much better. I'm getting out of here so I can personally thank him for his compassion. Right, stay safe. Okay, that's cool. So, I rescued his little... His little employee. So now, I'm gonna go and find the little cigarette case for Lily Ann and... Get back to Anton at this point. The cigarette case is somewhere down there, so let me see if I'm able to just shoot from above or have my companions attack them. Here I come. How about that? Yes, how about that? Oh shit. Let me see. I'll take that. Perfect. Mm -hmm. The cigarette case is metal-lined and embossed with an iconic rendering of the Hope. The name Lillian is signed on the inside of the metal lid. Commissioned by Space's Choice for a founding day anniversary promotion honoring the lives lost with the Hope. Nothing like a good smoke to help you remember someone dying in the airless void of space, gasping for breath in their last moments. That's the last of him! Nice. And honestly... Wait, who the hell... What is that? Who's... Who's moaning like that? Was that you? Someone said... Uh, uh. Alright, well, we got our stuff, so... Let's head on. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Can I disarm them? No. That's cool. And I'm also a little bit deaf. Let's just head back. Seriously, don't get yourself killed. It's a nice cigarette case, but it's still just a cigarette case. I've got some good news. I have the cigarette case you lost. You're shitting me. Mm -mm. I'm not saying it wasn't a hassle to get, but here it is, safe and sound. You ain't so bad. Here's something for the trouble. See you around then. I'm finally here, and thankfully I did manage to grab the acid sweeper. That way I can put that on my CM machine, back on my unreliable. Let me see what this doofus is doing. Damn right we left the lab. What's left there that's worth dying for? You let them get away. Worthless. The lot of you. Wow, you get what you pay for, don't you? Wow, look at that. That no-account fool Porter and his crew are even more worthless than I could have imagined. They've abandoned their posts. This is madness. First of all, I found your associate, Jameson. He's safe. Jameson. I didn't do right by him, did I? 
only cared about how he helped or hurt my research. You really didn't care about him at all, though, did you? It's all about your ambition? You understand nothing. Me, least of all. Mm. I suppose it's not my business. Oh, it's you. As if my thoughts weren't dark enough already. What is it? First of all... Your co-workers have been doing some off-the-book experimenting. Oh, really? Who? Orson's been modifying some sort of a weapon to use on the Raptodons. Orson? Good. It will keep him from wasting my time. Sounds like he might actually be doing something useful for once. I have to ask about something else. I will be happy to answer your questions once I have my research. In the meantime, I will occupy myself considering the different ways I can end my life. A little over dramatic, wouldn't you say? No, realistic. I don't get that research back, I'll be released from my indenture contract. Release from indentured servitude. Isn't that a good thing? You can't be serious. No I contract, am. no work. No work, you're a pariah, cast out, shunned. Soon you'll find yourself among... deserters. Deserters? You know, dregs, ne'er-do-wells, eking out a horrible existence on the periphery of society. Even if that's not my fate, I don't relish being sent to some backwater corporate township. Are they paying this guy to be a jackass, or is he doing it for free? Ha. <laughs> Slow it, Felix. Aren't you already in a backwater corporate township, Anton? This is temporary, and simply a means to an end. Goodbye. In all reality, I'm not giving him this research, honestly, so... Let's go back to Gladys, shall we? Back on the ship... And I'm just chilling here. What happened with Pravarti? Is she okay? You good? Sometimes I wonder about Mr. Hawthorne. What was he like? Why'd he make the computer a talkie? You think he got lonely, flying about on his own? Uh, I don't know, but break time's over. And that's a really good question. What was Alex Hawthorne like? Honestly, I wish I had a chance to get to know him before he died. Which, by the way, he did not deserve to die the way he did. What the hell? Sam? Whoa, he works. There's no response from the auto mechanical unit. A serial number etched in its casses includes the letters Sam. A rumbling vibrates from the unit's casses. Okay. Now what? So he's just a silent Battery machine. Levels are fully charged. Oh, you talk. Oh, good work, Sam. Thank you, customer Sam. We guarantee you it's the only sanitation and maintenance unit you'll ever need. So where did you come from? All Sam units travel fully assembled in a 12 by 12 corrugated steel box. No, I mean, I want to know more about you. Did you know Sam units are capable of equipping regulation grade flamethrower nozzles? Upgrade your attachment today and get to firing away. What do you say, Sam? You want to help me clean up this colony? Got stubborn stains. Leave them for Sam. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the crew, Sam. Sam units live to clean and clean to live. My goodness. That's music to my aunt's ears. Let's head to Groundbreaker so I can give Gladys all the juicy stolen material I got from these scientists. We've arrived at the groundbreaker. Hell yeah, I'm excited. All right, let's head on out. Very 
I decided to get Vicar and Sam to come with me. Look at Sam. He's pretty... He's pretty tall. The fact that I have a cleaning machine as a companion is so funny to me. Hello, hello, Gladys. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. I investigated that distress signal from Roseway. What's that? Speak up now. About those secrets you asked me to look for? What'd you turn up? So, I found some schematics for a prototype weapon from Force. And I'm selling. You buying? Peaches and cream. If that isn't the most handsome bit of lethal engineering I've seen all week. That'll go for a tie, you son of a bitch. I found this fancy toothpaste formula. Here you go. These corporations, I tell you. Once they get an idea into their big, dense heads, there's no getting it out again. Can't imagine how I'll offload this. But waste not, want not, I suppose. Well, Martin Callahan might be interested. Space Destroyers is supposedly developing toothpastes now. Well, 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 aren't you clever? Thank you, dearie. I might just follow up on that. Well, I think that's it. Are you positive? Honest to goodness? I'm certain there's nothing left. Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but... I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. Okay, well, back to your hard-earned wisdom. Straight to the point, eh? All right, then. On you go. Thanks for your time. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.